Okay, I want to give a quick overview of how to use the ChainGuard Java images. And in particular, I want to show how to port an existing application to use the ChainGuard Java images. So our images are largely equivalent to the existing Java images that you can find on the Docker Hub, such as the Eclipse Temerin ones. The difference is that we're much more focused on producing minimal images with a low CVE count. We do build our own JDK, and there's a really great blog on the ChainGuard site that explains how we do this and how we bootstrap from the really early versions of Java, which I thoroughly re recommend checking out, and I will link in the notes. For this video, I'm gonna use an example created by my colleague Maureen Bertie, so all the hard work in this video is actually down to her. So the starting point for this video is this example app. It's a Spring Boot app, and all it does is listen on port 8080 and return hello world, effectively. So here is the Docker file, and we can see it starts with from Maven. So this is using the Docker official image from Maven, which itself is built on top of Eclipse Temerin. All we're doing then is copying it over some source code, building it with Maven, um, doing a little bit of cleanup on this step, to get rid of some build artifacts. Uh, and then we're copying the jar file to the app directory and set an entry point. So we should be able to build that fairly easily. And now I should be able to run it. That was pretty quick because it was cached already. Uh, if you build it yourself, it will take a little bit longer because I'll have to download all the various dependencies. So let's see if I can get this right. Docker run dash dash rm dash d dash port 8080 to port 8080 on the host and our image was called java dash maven so now hopefully if i do curl localhost 8080 slash hello i get hello world back so that's the application working um we can take a look at the logs if we like okay nothing surprising there it's a, a tomcat application so if we look at the size of the image, we can see it's 585 megabytes. So quite a large container, but nothing too surprising for a Java image. Um, if we look at the CVEs, um, I'm gonna use Docker Scout, you could use Gripe or whatever. Then you can see Docker Scout is supporting there's 10 medium and 17 low CVEs. Honestly, I don't think that's a terrible result, um, but let's see if we can do better. So let's take a look at this Docker file. And what I'm gonna do here is change to use cgr.dev slash chainguard slash maven. So that's using the cgr.dev chainguards registry. You could just delete the cgr.dev and, and use the Docker Hub, because we now have chainguard images on Docker Hub under chainguards under the ChainGuard um, workspace. But let's just do that for the minute and we will rebuild it. Um, this time I'll add CG on the end so we can see the difference. And there we go. So let's take a look at Java Maven dash CG. So I think we are 585 megabytes. So we've dropped it by what, 220 megabytes or 225 megabytes to 360 megabytes. So that's a fairly big saving by just making a, uh, just adding tgr.dev slash chainguard to the start. Um, but more interestingly, what happens to the CVEs? So if I run Docker Scout on this image, we see there's zero CVEs. So I've made a very small change. We've dropped the size of the image and we've removed all the known CVEs. So that's a pretty effective change in my book. Um, but we can still take it further. Um, I'm going to use Maureen's hard work and we'll look at um, how you can create a multi-stage Docker build. Within Docker reset, I should have meant to do git reset. Okay. Uh, git switch to the ChainGuard multi-stage JRE image. And if we look at the Docker file, um, what we now have is a multi-stage build. So we're using the Maven image as a builder. So we've got this as builder step, but now we've got a second build step down here 
but we say as runner. So this code is more or less the same. Um, we have taken out the entry point, um, but now we're copying the jar file from the builder and running it here. And this image is just a JRE image. So it doesn't have all the build tool associated with the, the Maven image. Okay, let's try building that. That looks good. So if I do, um, well, I guess we should prove it still works. So if I do docker run, I'm going to do docker ps first, docker rm f only two. Um, and now if I do docker run again, so Java, Maven, multi, chain guard. Boom. curl localhost 8080 slash hello. So still working just the same as before, but now Java Maven multi G. Um, we can see we've got the size down a little bit further. So I think it was what 360 megabytes, and now we've got it down to 325 megabytes. So we've removed what 30 um, yeah 35 megabytes of build tool in there. And also if we check the CVEs again, hopefully that will still be zero. Even. Yeah, so we've zero CVEs, but we've reduced the size and number of packages in the image. So that's quite a big win. Took a little bit more work to get to the multi-stage build, but not a ridiculous amount. So that's about it. We see now you can use ChainGuard's Maven and JRE images to reduce the size and CVE count in a Java application with relatively little work. Please do take a look and let me know how you get on.